Six million people were murdered during the Holocaust. Today is International Holocaust Remembrance Day. A bill circulating at the state capitol in Madison would make teaching students in public schools about the Holocaust mandatory. In a story you will only see on News 8 Now, Amy DuPont spoke with a Holocaust survivor who says lawmakers need to pass it if they don't want history to repeat itself. My parents' wedding picture. Black and white photos bar. bring back happy memories. This is the last time I saw my father. But it's he stories of hatred. Eva Zeret believes she must share. Hatred is rising, and I feel the responsibility to speak out. Eva was seven years old when Nazis stormed her Budapest neighborhood and murdered most of her family and friends. And the Nazi comes over, grabs the baby out of the mother's arm and throw it to the wall. And that is a nightmare that I never forget. So my mother left. The 84 year old has spent much of her life sharing her story with children. If you learn the truth and history, then hopefully you become a better person. A bill circulating the Wisconsin State Capitol would require all students to learn about the Holocaust once during middle school and then again during high school. We need to remember those moments. We need to remember those stories. The curriculum and materials will be provided by Wisconsin Holocaust survivors and scholars. Here at HERC, we've been preparing a lot of new materials that are going to be available to educators online for free. Six million people were murdered during the Holocaust, an atrocity you would think would be worthy of all Wisconsin classroom curriculums. But the president of the state's Teachers Association says that's not the case. Um, we have a, a, a social and a moral obligation to teach about events like the Holocaust. And unless it's mandated, it's hit and miss in districts. While lawmakers ponder its importance, Eva will keep sharing her story of heartache and resilience. As long as I feel that I'm talking about the people that I loved, they're still alive in my head. Bringing history to the next generation Eva prays will never repeat the past. Amy DuPont, News 8 Now. And the first ever 50 state survey on Holocaust knowledge of American millennials and Gen Z's released last year revealed some shocking results. In Wisconsin, one in three young people said they've come across a swastika or other pro-Nazi symbol on their social media feed.